Hey guys, uh, just wanted to go over all the issues that I had and uh, update you guys on the fixes and the non-fixes. So here's my order. And uh, I got 16 issues I can show you. Page number six. What does that say? Number 16. <laughs> So let's start with the first issue. First issue is um, charging port randomly opens. I don't remember what issue number that was, but uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna see what happens with the charging port. And I think they installed the wrong charging port because the behavior is now different. So if you close it, you're supposed to be able to push here and then it'll open as long as the door is open so as you can see the car is unlocked so you should be able to just push on this to get it unlocked for some reason that button is not working maybe they gave me the wrong one or a busted one but this button is supposed to to move maybe the new charging modules this one they got rid of the, the push button maybe it was giving them issues I don't know but uh, this thing doesn't work problem number two um, so problem number two was that the, the uh, this thing the glass wouldn't roll down so I found that uh, I, I thought that they recalibrated it and they said that it was normal but um, after recalibration, I got the car back and then uh, it happened again and it happened even worse. I have another video uh, that goes into depth about it but sometimes right now you, you, you're seeing that the door is opening fine with the window coming down and whatnot but I, I did have a really bad issue with the window when, uh, would not stay up because it keeps on coming above and then hitting the whatever so I'll, I'll include that video here just to show you when i tried to roll the window back up it would uh, sense that it is resistance and then it will bounce back down yeah so the the rear lift gate uh made this weird noise number three the rear lift gate made this really weird noise and and seemed like it was struggling to open so let me open the rear lift gate for you. It's not making... It's not making that clicking noise anymore, but I didn't make a, I didn't make a video about it, so uh, you're not going to hear that clicking noise when it was opening. It's, it's really struggling. Uh, maybe if you watch some of my videos where I use my rear lift gate, you'll, you'll hear the noise, but uh, they ended up replacing one of the struts. So number four is the, the infamous uh, phantom obstacle alert. So here goes the version 7.132100 that uh, disabled, disabled the the interior sensors so now they work perfectly <laughs> yeah I had a rattling in number five I had a rattling in the second row when I'm driving some um, issues when I'm uh, just going over un uneven surfaces so yeah going over some uneven surfaces I, I had a, 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 a weird rattling from the, the rear seats and they determined that it was um, the chrome plate covers so they uh, put some uh, they put some foam on it uh, I still hear it uh, so I don't think they fixed that problem number five number six is just I didn't report this problem uh, it was a I don't know why they put this problem in here so I it's not my problem uh, they said perform quality inspection uh, I don't think they 
So number seven is the uh, issue that I just updated. So uh, Falcon Wing door uh, um, detects exterior um, objects. So when the second, when the Falcon Wing door opens, I can show you, it will not open all the way. And from the inside, it will not open at all. So I can open the door for you and you will see that it opens up Oh, look at that, it won't even open. And uh, let me show you why. In one movement, I can show you, see? It detects something there. And uh, as you can see, there's nothing there. Nothing there. It detects the obstacle. So nothing there. I just want to show you. Try again. And then let me get close again. Falcon wing door, obstacle, obstacle. You can see that. You can see that. Right? So it refuses to open. But the, the funny thing is, it will open if I press. <laughs> yeah, I have a detailed uh, I have a detailed video of this really weird issue, so now it'll close. But once I close it, it does not open. And you can see that uh, it's detecting. Uh, if you can resolve that, right, you can see. So, the reason why I don't edit these is because people will say, Hey, you edited it, blah, 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 blah. whatever. That opens. And I'm going to close it. I'm just going to show you. I'm not anywhere near that, and you can probably still see my console right there. I'm going to try to open it with the fob, which is basically trying to open it from the inside. Double click, and you can see the yellow pop up. Anyway, I beat this uh, to death already in another video. This is what I have to get fixed. So yeah, they didn't find any issues with the Falcon Wing door. <laughs> uh, I showed it. I was able to actually demonstrate this, but uh, when they tried to reproduce the issue, it wasn't there. Uh, number eight is some uh, courtesy inspection. So, uh, the two, so far, two of those problems are not mine. I did not say anything about it. So, uh, number nine is the uh, third row passenger seat, uh, you know, having trouble folding down. Uh, the one with the seatbelt problem. And uh, they fixed that, so nothing to show there. It's still a little bit tight, but uh, it, it's uh, manageable now, instead of it being like totally uh, unmanageable before. Um, so here's the other issue, number 10. So uh, the first time I had my, uh, uh, my, my first issue, which is the coolant leak, it went to Paramus and uh, the primary service center when they hastily put the, the falcon wing door back together because they were waiting on a part I remember that uh, the interior obstacle detection they were actually waiting on a new uh, sensor suite that was supposed to come that never came and after a week of waiting i, I got pissed off and told them to just put it back together and, and, and let me deal with it uh, I don't want the car sitting there just for parts and luckily I didn't let them sit or else I would have been sitting there for a month and still no parts. So anyway, uh, the, when they put together the, the Falcon Wing door, it was loose, uh, all the trim was loose. So they, they found that uh, the you know, Paramus screwed up and they put the panel back together and it's now nice and tight. Uh, let me see, uh, item number 11, uh, <laughs> smudge on the windshield, yeah, smudge on the windshield where the autopilot is, 
Yes, um, let me go and show you that problem. Uh, it's all clear. Uh, I don't need to show you. They, they took the housing they took the housing out and then they cleaned it. So that's what they say, stated. Uh, that was number 11. Uh, I, this is a separate issue. Uh, uh, this is from my Model S. Uh, I, I don't use my uh, UMC a lot. Uh, um, now I'm renovating, I have to because I took down my, my uh, high power wall connector. So uh, I had a problem where the UMC, uh, for those of you who don't know, UMC is the, the, um, the mobile connector. And uh, the, it would not charge for some reason in one of my, um, uh, my L1450s. So uh, what would happen is um, uh, it would throw up an error saying that the charging cable is bad. I looked at the, the charging cable, they replaced it once for, for me before on the Model S and uh, they gave me an engineering sample. They brought it back and they looked at it, there was a fault with it, so they replaced the whole thing again. So now I got a new one and it doesn't say engineering sample, which is good. Problem unlucky number 13, uh, customer states intermittently front passenger side sensor displays alert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I had these uh, real, really weird issues that I could not capture on, on um, camera because they were so intermittent. Uh, every time I would stop uh, somewhere, the, uh, the sensors, you might have seen it in some of my videos. Uh, I, I would uh, probably try to go back and uh, put a compilation together just to show you that, that there's nothing in front of me but the, the parking sensors would uh, say that there's something there. Pretty carefully and uh, not go over a certain amount uh, and not uh, over accelerate. Uh, we'll, the round trip will be about 10 miles and uh, we're gonna set the temperature uh, to be the same uh, 72 degrees. Uh, problem number 14 um, customer says during hard acceleration. So I was able to reproduce this once with the engineer uh, sitting next to me. Uh, when I do a, a not a, a launch per se, just stomping on the uh, accelerator, I would get this really weird click noise from uh, from the uh, the rear somewhere in the middle of the car. I, I thought it was something loose uh, with the, maybe the uni body or the uh, not the uni body, but the, the actual frame and I wasn't able to reproduce it again. So the first launch I did, it, he heard it, and they were not able to reproduce the problem. And since I haven't, uh, since I got the car back, I have not got this uh, issue again uh, during hard acceleration. So uh, good for them. Whatever the problem was, got fixed. So uh, number 15, uh, this problem is uh, really weird. Um, it's basically when I was driving uh, on the highway at around 80, um, there's some weird shaking going on. Uh, every like two to three seconds, it would shake, and then um, it's like almost the sensation of like the two uh, motors fighting against each other, kind of. They're, they're, they're not perfectly in sync. Uh, I, that's my guess, and uh, they could not reproduce the problem, so they could they could not. Do it. But uh, every time I'm driving back from my client's site, uh, and uh, some sometimes driving somewhere, I think it's when the motors are cold or something. Uh, not sure, but uh, it only happens within the first five minutes of driving, and then it goes away. So uh, we'll we'll keep an eye out on on that. But I tried to make a video of it, but it doesn't show up on video that well. Um, I notice it because my iPhone shakes like crazy. <laughs> so, um, you can see my phone shaking. The shaking goes away after about a few minutes. Yeah, you can see. Oh, uh, this, this problem I never uh, documented, 
but uh, number 16 is uh, uh, there seems to be some quality problem that I was concerned with so I want to show you uh, let me open up the falcon wing doors so I want to show you uh, this point here uh, between the falcon wing doors uh, I thought this was a welding point but it uh, the service manager told me that it was a um, a filler I don't know what the filler means but uh, it's basically from if I step back a little bit it's it's right in the middle of your falcon wing doors there's this point right here so uh, this one is looking to be breaking also uh, in the beginning it's it wasn't uh, that bad uh, let me go over to the other side so this is the one that I was complaining about because if you look at it it looks like either the welding point isn't great but I was told that this is a filler so cosmetic so they're supposed to take this to a body shop fill it in and repaint it I suppose and I was uh, basically told that this is not structural or the welding point is not here it's just a filler it looks like some kind of I don't know if it's a filler I guess maybe it is why the hell would you have some filler here it's like a big humongous seam right it's about uh, you can see how big it is mm. I don't have a ruler with me but uh, I would venture that this is uh, three three eighths of an inch uh, that they use filler for I don't know what the reason is uh, why would you use filler that's you can see here that there's some plastic they're gonna have to redo this for me anyway so yeah there's some plastic there between these two I guess during manufacturing or something when they put these two pieces together I'm just guessing that uh, hey look there's a seam here that we didn't expect let's just fill it up with some plastic <laughs> that's kind of uh, worrisome yeah so yep this is the the thing that they'll have to send to the body shop it'll take a, a little while so that that was my uh, five or was it uh, 16 minus two issues 14 issues so yeah so that's my update and uh, yeah please uh, like and subscribe it's not a bitch session it's just an update uh, and they still have issues to work out for me and I'll keep you guys up to date regarding all those issues. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.